California's agriculture business is built mainly on the backs of migrant workers. Many Mexicans, many enter the United States illegally. And for decades, many were taken advantage of by the employers, experiencing terrible work conditions. In the early 1960s, the United Farm Workers began fighting for better conditions and higher pay. Our sweat and our blood have fallen on this land to make other men rich. Its leaders include Cesar Chavez. Well, there's an awful lot of illegals coming in. The penance we accept symbolizes the suffering we shall have in order to bring justice to these same towns, to this same valley. This march inspired many, including one man who was just 23 years old, Francisco Jimenez. He grew up as a farm worker in the Bonitia Ranch in Santa Clara. A senior at Santa Clara University, I joined Cesar Chavez on that march to Sacramento. And uh, when we arrived at the capital, I heard Cesar Chavez talk about social justice. And as he was speaking, I, re I uh, made a promise that I would do everything in my life to help alleviate the plight of farm workers. So Cesar Chavez inspired me uh, personally and also inspired my writing. Cesar Chavez inspired Francisco to write his own story, growing up as a migrant child. We were not known and no one would come to our support. We were hungry and frightened and in need of help. It's when, when we first uh, came across the border without authorization, mm -hmm. without papers, um, I was four years old. His autobiography is called The Circuit, winner of the Boston Globe Own Books Awards for Fiction in 1998 and many others. I, I tell it as a child, as, as I grew up, as I experienced the experience as a child. And I purposely did that because I wanted people to see through the child's eyes and to feel through the child's heart. Francisco didn't have an easy life. He remembers his life as an immigrant child. My older brother and I had to work alongside our parents to make ends meet. Consequently, we missed a lot of school. I would miss the first two and a half months of the school year every year. Uh, and my brother, being the oldest, he did not start school until December after the cotton season was over. During this time, Francisco lived in fear. He was deported and he returned again to the United States. We were deported and we came back uh, with visas and settled in Bonetti Ranch, a migrant camp. After that, Francisco worked as a janitor, which allowed him time for studies. Francisco met people who inspired him all along his student life. From his English teacher in high school, Lydia Bell. She says, you're going to succeed. And she says, and I want you to read this novel. She handed me the novel, The Grapes of Wrath. To Chavez, who inspired Francisco to fight for greater ethnic rights. He became a teacher and started Santa Clara University Ethnic Study Department, which is the story of racial ethnic groups in the U.S. and their contemporary experiences. Now, even though he's retired, he's still respected on campus. I strongly believe in the power of education. So uh, I, through my speaking at conferences, uh, in visiting schools, I always promote education. It's what he does, it's what he does well, um, and it's what he loves to do. So 
um, it is sa it's, gives him a great deal of satisfaction. 78-year-old Francisco can count on the support of his wife, Laura Jimenez. My feeling is that that's exactly the idea behind retirement, to do those things that give you the greatest satisfaction, to have that freedom. And his son, Miguel Jimenez, he's proud to. I think one of the things I admire most is, I think, his perseverance in continuing to tell a story, to continue to reach out to young kids and students and, and inspire them, and I think that's incredible. I asked his former student, Lorenzo Gamboa, what he remembered most about his teacher, Francisco. He told us to Never settle, never give up, never forget where you came from, and always dream big. Francisco promotes literacy, which is the foundation of education, and education is the foundation for uh, establishing possibilities for a better life and for a better society. And if we don't have an educated public, then our democracy suffers. Francisco learned to fight from Cesar Chavez. And when most men have reached an age that are retired, Francisco is not finished yet. Because he is a fighter and still marches on. I'm Ombreta Minkwemeye in Santa Clara. Allá por mi tierra hay un caminante que trae de la sierra.